Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. Now guys, this is a bit of a quick video to show you the, the amazing cacti and succulents that we got from our wonderful friend Claire from Cactus Cove here on YouTube. And the other day's video, we did an unboxing video of these amazing cacti succulents that Claire sent us. And uh, this is a video to show you them all potted up and I'm gonna then show you what they look like when they're put into their, into their new positions in, around the house. And first of all, thank you so much again, Claire, for these incredible plants. And if you're not familiar with Claire's amazing YouTube channel called Cactus Cove, then do go over and subscribe to Claire. Links will be up above. And also, don't forget to subscribe to me too. <laughs> and if you didn't see the video the other day I made of the whole unboxing video, then do check that out also. Links will also be up above and also down below in the video description. So uh, these are the gorgeous cacti songs, all potted up. Uh, Euphorbius here, Epiphyllum, Epiphytic cacti and Ripsalis, and cactus seedlings, little puncher prickly pear there, and this beautiful Matucana white flowering albiflora as well. And I potted up, I used for the soil mixes with the two Epiphytes, um, which is this one here, the Epiphyllum and the Ripsalis. I use a mixture of a um, bit of loam based soil, L O A M, mixed with peat and a bit of sharp sand and a bit of pumice as well for um, aeration. And then with the uh, euphorbias, the succulents, and also all of the cacti, I used four equal parts of loam based soil, L O A M, mixed with pumice. Uh, lava rock and a bit of grit as well so it's very very well draining and all the uh, the cacti and the succulents are going to be keeping pretty much dry now until the spring but the epiphytes here I'm going to be, still be watering these over the upcoming winter because these are obviously moisture loving plants and I'm going to be putting, taking some of them upstairs into the grow room under the grow lights and also some of the, the euphorbias going into the window here in our kitchen so this is them all potted up and by the way I've top dressed them with um, a bit of uh, top dressing of pumice there as well just to finish them all off nice and I'm going to show you now what they look like in their new little place in the new little homes now that's the euphorbias Put away here in our kitchen window which is south facing so it gets plenty of sunshine and uh, with a collection of all our other type of euphorbias and other succulents here we've also got other euphorbias there that we got from our wonderful friend Clyde Morris they're settling in really well into their into their new little home here as well so that's the euphorbias I'm going to show you the um, the rest of the cacti all put away upstairs now here I am in the grow room and I've put the lovely little Puncher here next to the Puncher Cobra to keep it company. And then the two little cactus seedlings I've got there here, all under the grow lights and also next to a south facing window so they also get a lot of natural sun as well. And the lovely Mammillaria elongata there as well. And um, I'll just show you where I've got the Epiphytics. I've got a selection of epiphytic cacti here and orchids and other types of epiphytic cacti all under the, the grow lights as well as you can see. And uh, here is the lovely little Ripsalis and uh, the little Epiphyllum as well next to its little family. And uh, as I say, got lots of sun from the south facing window and lots under the, the grow light as well. So thank you so much Claire again for these amazing, amazing cacti and succulents. And, uh, Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti and succulents, then please do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus and succulent power. And until my next video, bye. Bye from these little cuties.